Hi. In this video, I'll show, I want to show you how to create segment uh, where you will catch all spam spammers and the list you have, you need to exclude from all of your campaigns and regularly maintain and suppress those subscribers. I don't know why, but I'm not sure, but like in Australia and the European country, there's a lot of like spam bots, which attacking some of the companies and like pushing a lot of a lot of um, fake domain fake emails uh, to your account like Clavio account and uh, if you start sending emails to those people first of all it will um, affect your sender's reputation and will might cause other issues so today i'll show you how to catch those spammers and uh, yeah and you you will have that segment which you always exclude and regular clean up so let's go to list and segments and i already have that exclude so as you can see exclude suppress uh, i put in parentheses exclude because once uh, creating a creative team create campaigns they always exclude this segment in case I did not didn't have time to suppress them and suppress it's like every month we have a routine when we clean up those spam spam um, members so click spam as you can see as you can see this is <laughs> not uh, this is wrong uh, domain domain also there's like some domains that I know that are spam so how, how do you do this you let let me show you how do you create new one. So let's do create segment. segment. Let's do example. Let's do example. And now we do definitions and we do property about somebody and we do email and we do contain. And let's say just for, just for example, don't do that, but let's do a gmail.com. And also, let's do uh, is not is not gmail.com or I know there's a bunch of let's do gmail.com. We don't don't surprise them, but this is just example uh, because gmail.com, you know, it's not uh, they are not spammers. And or you can do let's do email. No. In. Uh, and do not do this like don't do not suppress i just showing you how you do um spam domain so it's like xyz.com or sex.com because there's a lot of like pornographic uh domains that attacking attacking might attack your company so let's do that let's do create segment it take it will take a while, but it will basically create the segment with everybody who has gmail.com or yahoo.com domains, and it will exclude everybody who, who is suppressed. As you can see here, it's what, how many uh, thirteen thousand people. Just just so click click click. So delete. Let's do something that we know. Uh, it's it's. Let's do. 163.com let's do and email contains so we know those three people are 100% spammers so we do export segments and we do start export and we will surprise them. Um, the logical question, how do you know which domain to exclude? So it's, it's, there's no defined process because it's very hard, especially once your database is very big. Um, so we do profiles right now, we do suppressed and we do upload, choose 
and this this one second one and upload suppressed okay so um it's there's no defined method how to do it but what i like to do what i like what i do first when i create uh start working with a company i do <clears throat> uh received email at least 10 times and open zero times so I like to do this this kind of um, received email at least um, at least ten times and open it email zero times overall then placed order zero times and then do is not suppressed. Let's create this segment. We'll see how many subscribers we have. Then you can, uh, it's like matter of deduction. You just uh, eliminate uh, profiles. You know that, let's say, gmail.com. So I mean, this is a bad example because they are not sending a lot of emails, but let's do two emails and exclude uh, about somebody email does not uh, does not contain gmail.com or first one uh, email doesn't doesn't contain doesn't contain uh, who.com so basically it will show us um, people who does not have Yahoo or Gmail accounts and they open zero times and place order zero times but they receive email so let's say um, gmail.com for some reasons this person still shows up um, and this person doesn't contain doesn't contain gmail.com yahoo.com for some reason they still showing up <clears throat> but basically you eliminate like domains like say it, like doesn't have this doesn't have this doesn't have this and you will be left at the end like with few domains that might look spammy and you might try to log in to their let's say this this one au.ey.com maybe it's legit email but maybe not you you can check and see but also you will see there there will be some accounts like one two three at yahoo.com one two three five at yahoo.com one two three five and like you will see their pattern just it's, it's very easy to spot 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 the patterns uh like it's hard to sh it's hard to sh see in this email like uh, account because I already deleted all accounts. But something like this cases incoming at case and this is this is not legit or maybe it's legit email but some kind of like support. So you want to eliminate that kind of um, email. So you use this domain. Uh, to uh, to exclude and to suppress because uh, they might be. I said legit emails, but it's, it's something is lo looks wrong here. Maybe some email that do not re like you're not able to receive email there. Or, or also another uh, good tip is to to do something like property about someone who does um, like delete, 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 delete delete and email email and links no reply no reply or email it's reply so this way if you will eliminate emails where the bounce back is high because I mean it says do not reply to this email and yeah you see yeah so no reply do not reply mail no reply no reply so basically you can also export those segments and sub 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 
suppress those contacts. So this way uh, you eliminate your bounce backs. So suppress, upload, and let's do number two. It's hard to create boundaries, but over time you will see those patterns and you will be able to spot. So the goal of this video is just to, to explain you that you need to create segment and over time you will update and add criteria to that segments and that segment will uh, automatically like um, ca uh, cap um, catch those spam domains or no reply domains or something else so you can easily exclude from your campaigns and also you can meet uh, suppress them over or like every month or every week depends on how big is your flow thank you it was andrew from email marketing nyc